Okay, on to the second model. So there's only two models here. This one, Radiance, 3,071 square feet. Now they have another one here that's not modeled, that's 30, oh, windy here, uh, 2989 square feet. Okay, so this one's actually bigger. So Radiance, I'll find that on the price sheet here inside. Oh no, it's here. 2989, so this must have a small upgrade somewhere to give it the extra square footage. All right, well, let's take a peek. And the price is under $200 a square foot, which is something we always look for. $36 a month in HOA, which is very low. $5,000 towards closing costs. Okay. Same thing, nice oak, big wide floor foyer. Entry. Now I've never seen that. I gotta tell you, that's the first time I've seen a split door like this. Is this the, maybe the timeout room? <laughs> well, okay. Actually, I doubt that's really how it comes. I think they're just trying to showcase that it has the storage back here. Okay. That's pretty cool. Oh man, this laundry is massive. So free, you can put a freezer, fridge. Wow, that is big. Let me stand back so you can get the full view. You put a bunk bed in here if you want it. And this has 42 inch cabinets. Okay. I like that big window too for the laundry area. That is nice. Big open floor plan. You have a lot of natural light coming through. Big slider. Oh, that's a cool looking counter. It's like a greenish gray slate. Kind of, a, it's quartz. Oops, I my paper. Same eight foot door, oversized casing and trim. And master, well, that's a cool drywall going out. Uh, master downstairs, big plus. If you're not a fan of stairs, here you go, this is perfect. Because the laundry is downstairs and your master is downstairs. Super shower, it's a big shower. I'm liking this house. It's pretty nice. Closet's big. Double doors. Okay. All right. Let's cruise upstairs. So, a quick recap: master downstairs, laundry downstairs, slash bedroom den. Option here. Now let's go up. That's a nice stair rail. And I like it, it's not a straight shot up. So you have this landing here. So if you're not a fan of stairs, this does help and breaks up the climb a little bit. And I love how that's open like that and not the pony wall. It makes it look bigger. And this modern style is really nice looking. Surprisingly, they have tile up here. And that's, that's real tile. You don't see that too often on two stories on the second level. Yeah, there's been a nice game room. And then you have a closet right there you could use for media or a closet. But if you had some high tech stuff, you can. Use a video room. Nice. And the height is nice too. It's more than eight feet. Yep, there it is. Nine foot ceilings throughout. That's also rare. I like that. 
So this is an interesting concept here. So you have the open side there and you have an open split side here. So I assume there's gonna be a structural option where you can add a bedroom. I see it probably, well, it'd be on that side. Not this side because it would interfere with the stairs. Unless they have a configuration, I'll have to look at it. Two more rooms on this side with some decent depth. Closet's big. Okay, yep, another walk in closet. Two. Okay, so two full rooms upstairs, full master downstairs. I'm sure there's a structural option to add a room here. And then you have that den option down at the bottom. Well, let's go and check out the backyard. Now this is a larger home at 3,078 square feet, or I think that's what it said, close to it. So it's got a pretty big um, footprint. And if you want to do a pool, you know, this would be a little tight on this side, but you got enough room on that side if you wanted to do something like in a particular corner like here would work pretty well. And then you could do a ramada or a barbecue on that side. So it, it has the space for it, it was just, uh, be based on how you want it to lay out and again there's other lots so it's not even necessarily this exact one gives an idea though so yeah that's good space it's 10 feet on one side which means you have a lot of room between the homes too and here's an example you can see the models they're spaced out pretty well That's about 10, about 16 feet. That wall breaks about 10 plus another six, yeah, about 16 feet. So you got a lot of room between the homes. Good privacy. All right, thank you.